In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can add social logins like Facebook and Google in our custom WordPress login and registration form. So this is our default WordPress login form. But we are going to create a custom form which will look something like this. And we will also have social login buttons like Facebook and Google. So your visitors will be able to sign in using these social profiles and they can also use the same social profiles to create an account on your WordPress website. So if all that sounds interesting and you also want to add social login buttons on your WordPress login and registration form, then hop in and I'll show you everything step by step. And this video is part of our custom WordPress form playlist where we have already covered how you can create a custom sign-in, registration, lost password and how we can create a multi-tab login and sign up form. So if you want to learn how you can create some amazing looking custom forms for your WordPress site, so make sure you watch our complete playlist so that you will be able to learn everything from the beginning. Right now, let's dive in in our WordPress backend and start adding social buttons in our login and sign up form. Now before we start, we need to make sure that we allow our website visitors to create an account on our website. And for that, we need to make some changes in our WordPress settings. So here we need to go to settings and under general tab, we have an option for membership. And with that, we have an option for anyone can register. So make sure this option is turned on or check mark and then click on save. Once that is done, we can now go to plugins. And here we need to make sure that we have the plus add-ons for block editor free as well as pro version installed and updated to the latest version. And after that, we can go to plus settings and then click on plus blocks. And here we need to search for login. And this is the login and registration block that we are going to use. And as you can see, it's part of the pro plan of this plugin. So make sure you have the pro version installed and updated to the latest version. Now using this block, we will be able to create custom login and registration form on any page of our website. So let's go to pages and here we already have created a page. So let's edit this and here we can see we already have a form ready to use. And this form is the one that we have created in our previous video where we covered how we can create a multi-tab login and registration form. But let me just go ahead and get rid of this so that we can see everything from the very beginning. And to make things simple for you, we have already created some ready-made templates for these forms that you can just copy from plusblocks.com and use it on your website. So all you have to do is just go to the link given in the video description below and you will land on this page of registration form design demos. And here if we scroll down, we have all these templates for these forms that you can simply go ahead and copy from this page onto your website. So for example, let's say we want to create this style of form. So all we have to do is copy this from here. And then on this page, we just need to click on plus paste. And the complete design will be pasted here on our website. And then if we click on this form, here we can choose the type of form that we want to create. And we can choose the layout as well. Along with that, we have the registration tab which contains all the field that we see here in this form. For example, let me first get rid of this button here. And in order to add a new field, let's click on add field. And here we can choose social login. So now we have an option to select Facebook and Google or we can select both. And after this, we have an option for redirect URL. It means that whatever social login we use here, once the login is successful, we can enter a page URL here on which our user will land once they log in successfully on our website. So let's say we turn on Facebook. So here we have the Facebook login button. And we have two layout options here, layout one and layout two. So we can choose whichever fits best as per our website theme. And after this, we have a Facebook app ID and a Facebook app secret that we need to enter here. And along with that, if we turn on Google, so here we need to enter Google client ID. 
And after this, we have regular options about these forms that we have already covered in our previous videos. So you can either use these ready-made templates or you can start from scratch to create your own custom design. So in order to create everything from scratch, so let's go ahead and get rid of this template from here. And maybe we can start by adding a container block first. So we will choose DP container. And in this, we are going to search for login. So this is the login sign up block that we need to use. Let's click on this. And this is the default look of our sign in form. And here we can choose any form as we like. And in order to style this and make it compatible to our website theme, we can go to style tab and here we will find all the styling options for all the elements in this form. And once again, we have already covered that in our first two videos. So you can go ahead and watch those videos and learn more about this. And these styling options are similar to the styling options that we have for the other blocks in the plus library. So let's say this is how your form looks after doing all the styling work. And here if we click on the form again and we have selected login and registration form. And with that, we get login and registration field here. So if we click on login, here we have already added the social field. So if we delete that, and again, if we click on add fields, and from here, we can choose social login. So now we can turn on Facebook as well as Google. So now for the login, we have the social field here. And for the Facebook, we need app ID and app secret. So let's go ahead and create a Facebook app first and then we will talk about Google. Now this might sound a little bit technical, but don't worry, we will try to make it as simple as possible. All you have to do is just follow the steps one by one. So in order to create a Facebook app, we need to go to developers.facebook.com, which is now known as Meta for Developers. So if this is your first time landing on this page, you will see a login or sign up button. All you have to do is just sign in with your normal Facebook account. And once you do that, you will find this My Apps section here. So let's click on this. And this is the dashboard of your developer account. Here you will find the apps that you have already created. But if it is your first time, you will get a blank screen. And in order to create a new app, we just need to click on create app. And here we just need to select the last option that is none. And then click on next. And now we just need to give a name for our app. So we can give any name to this. And we need to add app contact email address. And then we need to choose the business account that we want to link with this app. So here you can choose your own Facebook account and then just click on create app. And this is going to ask you to enter the Facebook login password. So let's enter that and then click on submit. And now our app is already created. We just need to do some settings here. First, we need to go to settings and then click on basic. And here we just need to enter our website domain. So let's enter here and here as well. And at the very bottom, just click on save changes. Right now, our application is not live. So in order to make it live, we just need to turn this option to live. And now our application is live in the Facebook developer account. After this, there is one more setting. Here we have product. So we need to click on add product. And here we need to choose Facebook login. So let's click on setup. And then we will click on web. And here again, we will enter our site URL. And then click on save. And then click on continue. Once that is done, we need to go to settings and here we have an option for login with JavaScript SDK. So make sure this option is turned on. Yes. And once again, we will enter our website domain here and here as well. And after this, just click on save changes. And now our app is ready. We can now go to basic and here we will get the app ID. So let's copy this. And if we come back here in our page for the Facebook app ID, so here we will paste the Facebook app ID and for the app secret, let's click on show and let's copy this and then paste it in app secret and then click on update. So let's open this form in a private window and see how it works. So right now our login form shows the Facebook login button, but we do not see the Google button as of now. 
and that's because we have not entered the detail about the Google app. So that we will cover in just a few minutes. Let's try the Facebook login first. So we click on login with Facebook. And here just enter your Facebook username and password and then click on login. And then you just need to click on continue. And as soon as we log in, it's going to redirect us to the desired page, which we have already set in our settings, that is redirect URL. So here we can enter any URL and after login, the user will be redirected to that page. So this is how we can add a Facebook social login button on our login as well as registration form. Now let's see how we can add a Google sign in and registration button. And for that, we need to add the Google client ID. So in order to get that, we need to log in in our Google developer console. So this is a dashboard of Google cloud console. And if this is your first time, you won't be able to see any project on the dashboard. And all you have to do is just log in with your normal Gmail account. And on the very top, you will find my projects. Let's click on this. And here we just need to click on new project. And let's give it a name and then click on create. And it's going to take a few seconds. And once the project is created, you will get a notification on the top here. So let's select the project. And from here, we need to select API and services. Let's click on this. And then we need to go to OAuth consent screen. And from here, we need to select external and then click on create. And here is a small preview how our app will look like once the user tries to log in or register. And here we need to enter the app details. And here we need to select the support email ID. So you can select your own email ID from here. And under that we have app logo. So you can upload a logo for your application. So make sure it's, it's 120 by 120 pixel. After that, we just need to enter our website homepage URL and our privacy policy link and our terms of services page link. And after that, we just need to enter the authorized domain. So we will add our domain here. And after that, we just need to enter the developer contact email address. So you can enter your email address here and then click on save and continue. And from here, we just need to scroll down and then click on save and continue. And once again, click on save and continue. And now at the final step, we just need to scroll down and go to our dashboard. And in order to publish this app, we just need to click on publish app from here and then click on confirm. Once that is done, we need to go to credentials and then we need to click on create credentials. And from here, we need to select OAuth client ID and we need to select web application in the application type. And here we can give a name to our credential. So we will leave it as it is. And now we need to enter our website URL. So we will enter it here and we will also enter the authorized redirect URL, same as our website. And now let's click on create. And now we have our client ID and client secret key. So let's copy this and we come back here in our form and let's enter the Google client ID. And after that, we have Google one tab pop-up option. So this is going to make the login process easier for your users. So you can go ahead and turn it on. And after that, we have the button type. So we can choose standard or icon, which will look something like this. So let's go back to standard and we can change the theme as well. So we will keep it light. We can change the shape and we can change the button text as well. So we have multiple options which we can choose from. After that, we can set the size and after that we can enter a redirect URL. So here we can enter any page URL where we want our users to get redirected once the login or registration process is done. Right now we are entering these details in our login form. So this redirect will work once the login process is complete. And now we can enter the same client ID for the registration as well. So here under register, we have the social field and for the Google client ID, let's paste it again. And we already have the redirect URL entered here. All right, let's update this. All 
All right, let's open this form in a new window. All right, so let's say we want to register a new account with this form. And this time we just want to create our account using our Gmail or Google ID. So let's click on this. And here it's going to ask which email address or which Google account you want to use if you have already signed in using multiple accounts. So let's choose one. And then we will click on confirm. And once the registration process is complete, it's going to redirect to our desired page that we have entered in the back end. So this is how we can configure Google social login button in our custom login and registration form. So this is how we can add social login buttons like Facebook and Google in our WordPress sign in and registration form. And this video is part of our custom WordPress form playlist where we have already covered how you can create a custom sign in registration lost password and how we can create a multi-tab login and sign up form so if you want to learn how you can create some amazing looking custom forms for your wordpress site so make sure you watch our complete playlist so that you will be able to learn everything from the beginning and if you like this video then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community so that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next video in this series